Hey guys, in this video we're going to be solving simultaneous equations using matrices and this is specifically the 2 by 2 matrix. So if you're interested, let's get right to the lesson. But just before that, if you like educational content like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also please help to give me a like if you're learning something. Let's go. Here we have two equations and two unknowns and therefore they are simultaneous equations. We can use substitution and elimination to solve. That would be the most common method used. But we can also use matrices. Before we even begin using matrices, the very first step is actually to just rearrange the terms. When we rearrange the terms, we want all the like terms to be aligned vertically. So vertically, we want all the like terms to be together. Let's look at the first one, 2x. So let's write 2x. So the x term for the second equation is positive 5x. So this is what we want to arrange. We want to align it. So we will write 5x at the bottom. All right, and then let's get to the next term. So we go for the y term, which is 3y here. So positive 3y. And look for the y term in the next equation, which is positive 4y, so plus 4y. And then, generally, we put the number on the right side. You will know why later in step 2 and 3. So, for now, we just leave all the unknowns on the left side and you put the number on the right side of the equation. So, it will be equals to, here we have 14. So, 14. Now, here the number is on the left side. So, when we want to eliminate it on the left side, we plus 28 and plus 28. So, don't forget it will become positive 28, not negative 28. So this will be 28. All right, now step one is complete. We have rearranged the terms. We have aligned the like terms vertically. Now, then we can go to step two. Step two is to write these two equations in matrix form. Let me show you how to do that. Once you've aligned it, it's very simple. All we have to do is, so this is a 2 by 2 matrix. You can see on the left side of the equation, when you combine both equations, you have four terms. So what we do is, we just take the number in front of the unknown. So for example, if it's 2x, you just take 2. And you write it down in exactly the same pattern as you see in both equations now. So for example, this is 2x, so we take 2. And below that, we have 5x, so we take 5. 3y, we take 3. And 4y, we take 4. And then you close the bracket. Now we have a 2 by 2 matrix. Right next to that, we have our two unknowns. So the first unknown, the one on the left side, in this case it is x. We started with x first. So that unknown will be the one on top. So we write x. And then the second one, the y, will be at the bottom. So y. So this is just a 2 by 1 matrix. So x, y. We have done the left side of the equation. Now we need to go to the right side. The right side is very easy. All we have to do is copy down the numbers exactly. So 14 up and 28 down. This is also a 2 by 1 matrix. So now we have successfully converted it into matrix form. Then we can go to step 3. Step 3 is where it gets a little bit longer. Now step 3 is to find the inverse matrix for the 2 by 2 matrix. So if you look at our matrix form, we have the first matrix that you see, 2, 3, 5, 4, is a 2 by 2 matrix. And we need to find an inverse for this matrix. How to do that? First, we say, let A, or any letter you want to use to represent it, equals to 2, 3, 5, 4. So now we want to find A inverse. So when we want to find A inverse, we use the formula. A inverse is equals to 1 over AD minus BC into D A minus B minus C. Now, most of the time, this formula will be given to you. But what does it mean and how do you use it? The original matrix, before finding the inverse, is arranged as a, B, C, D, in this way. So if you look at the inverse matrix, what is being done is, let's just look at this portion of it. A and D are being swapped. As you can see here, it becomes D and A. 
and then negative b negative c we add a negative to b and a negative to c and you can see here negative b and negative c so that's all you have to do so let's do that to a so a we have 2 3 5 and 4 so we just apply the same thing a and b will switch places so you will get 4 2 and then all we have to do is add a negative to 3 and 5 so we get negative 3 and negative 5 that's all this is the second portion of the inverse formula now, 1 over ad minus bc is simply okay, now we can do the inverse so let's do the inverse when we do 1 over ad minus bc we are referring the ad and the bc is referring to the original matrix not after we've done the conversion so we have to look at the original matrix which is this so let's get rid of these Okay, this is the original matrix. So 1 over AD minus BC will simply be 1 divided by A times D. So A is 2, 2 times D is 4, 4 minus B times C. So B is 3, 3 and C is 5 times 5. So this is 1 over AD minus BC and then we just insert this one here. So we will get bracket 4, negative 3, negative 5, 2. So this is how we get the inverse matrix, A inverse of A, the 2 by 2 matrix. Once we've done this, we can go to the fourth step. Step 4 is just to multiply both the left and right side of the equation with the inverse matrix that we just found in step 3. So how do we do that? This is the equation that we have in matrix form. We take A inverse and we multiply it on the left side of the equation as well as on the right side of the equation. So why do we do this? This is A inverse and this is A. When you multiply A inverse into A, we will get identity matrix. And of course, identity matrix multiplied into XY, you will just get XY. And this is why we do this. So what will be left? On the left side of the equation is simply x, y. We have eliminated the whole thing just by multiplying with the inverse of the 2 by 2 matrix. Now on the right side is where we need to do all the working. So this is equals to. Now remember when you are multiplying the inverse matrix on the right side, we cannot multiply it here. This is because this matrix, our inverse matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix. Whereas, this matrix here is a 2 by 1 matrix. So, you can only multiply both matrices if the number in between is the same. So, this configuration is possible. However, if we had put it on the right side, it would be 2 by 1 multiplied by 2 by 2. So, here as you can see, the number in the middle is not the same. So, we cannot perform that multiplication. That is why A inverse here has to be on the left side. Alright, so let's actually do it. Now, let's put A inverse in front. So, A inverse as we discovered just now in step 3 is 1 over, we take this whole thing here, 2 times 4 minus 3 times 5, 2 times 4 minus 3 times 5, multiplied into... 4, negative 3, negative 5, and 2. 4, negative 3, negative 5, and 2. So, this is what we found earlier. And now, we add this. So, it will be 14 and 28. So, let's just take a look at this. This whole thing here is A inverse. And this is what we originally had on the right side of the equation. This is how you do it. So now all we have to do is solve this. Let's solve it. So let's work on the inverse matrix first. Let's simplify that. So first we want to simplify this. 1 over AD minus BC. Now this will be equals to 1 over 8. 4 and 2 is 8. 3 and 5 is 15. 8 minus 15 will be negative 7. So we have 1 over negative 7 here. And then 
let's do it step by step so let's just copy all these bags first negative 3 2 14 18 28 now what to do next the number outside the matrix will be multiplied into each number inside the matrix that is to say negative 1 over 7 will be multiplied into every single number so let's do that step by step so this will be equals to so negative 1 over 7 times 4 we get negative 4 over 7 and then negative 1 over 7 multiplied into negative 3 we get 3 over 7 and then we do the same for the two bottom numbers as well so we will get 5 over 7 as well as negative 2 over 7 so this is what we get after multiplying the number outside into each number inside the matrix and then we have 14 and 28 all right so now we have matrix multiplication matrix multiplied by matrix so this is a 2 by 2 matrix 2 by 2 two rows and two columns and this is a 2 by 1 matrix two rows and one column so these numbers are the same so they can be multiplied and the resulting matrix will be a 2 by 1 matrix. The resulting matrix, after we multiply, we will get a 2 by 1 matrix. So let's do this. How to do this matrix multiplication? I'll prepare a separate video if you are not so sure about this. But here I will just go through it very quickly. Always remember it is row times column. Row times column. The row of the first matrix multiplied by the column of the second matrix. So here we have the first row, row first and then column multiplied by column. How do we perform this multiplication? This is where it gets a little bit tricky. So this will be equals to, remember we only have a 2 by 1 matrix as the answer, which means it will be in this form. Our answer will be in the form of AB. Like this we only have one term on the first row and one term on the second row so this one will be you take the 4 over 7 negative 4 over 7 the first term and multiply with 14 so the first term from the first row multiplied by the first term from the first column row times column and this will give us negative 4 over 7 times 14 this is not the end yet because we still have another term there. So we add the other term and we do the same thing. So this time we take the second term here, 3 over 7, multiply by the second term in the first column. So this will be equals to 3 over 7 times 28. So now we've done the first row. We do the same thing for the second row. So this time we have second row multiplied by, there's only one column here, so multiplied by the first column again. What we do is 5 over 7 multiplied by 14. So at the bottom here, it is 5 over 7 times 14. And then we add the same thing as we did just now, but this time it will be negative 2 over 7 times 28. So negative 2 over 7 multiplied by 28. So this is how you do it. Now let's just work on this. This will be equals to oh, this is 2, this is 2, this is 4, and this is 4. So we will get negative 8 and then plus this is 12 and this is 10 and this is minus 8. So we will actually get 4 and 2. So now we have 4 and 2 on the right side of the equation. Don't forget on the left side of the equation, we have this, x, y. So here, the final line will be x, y equals to 4, 2. And basically, we have our answer already. Now, all that's left to do is to write it down because this is the matrix form. So by comparison, therefore, x must be equals to 4 
n y is equals to 2 and now we've solved for x and y we solved the simultaneous equation by using matrices if you've learned something today please don't forget to hit that like button to support me it really does help because it tells youtube it's a good video and youtube will push it out to more people and if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button i'll be producing at least one video a week if you want to do short revision and uh, quizzes daily quizzes then you can follow my instagram as well as my uh, tiktok my account will be at the corner so thank you for watching the video all the way to the end i'll see you in the next video